I'm trying to work. <sighs> Strange creature. So, week number eight at Journal 52. And this week we have a prompt of stillness. So when I first saw this, my thoughts immediately started. Sorry about that. Somebody decided he wanted to have a mad five minutes. <clears throat> so stillness. So my thoughts immediately went to um, the thoughts of tranquility and of calm and quiet. And my brain just decided. It's like Piccadilly Circus in here today. So, as I was saying, peace and quiet and tranquility. <laughs> um, so, my mind immediately went to a Japanese Zen garden. So, that's going to be the inspiration for my page for today. But before I go, I normally read you the back of... Do you want to read it? I normally read you the back of what the prompt is. So, it says, stillness. Silence, quiet, hush, the absence of motion. Synonyms, calmness, serenity, full, sorry, lull, tranquility, peace, placidity and quiet. And the prompt is, how are you in stillness? Chance would be a fine thing. Journal about that. Create a spread that feels still or quiet or tranquil, hence the Zen Garden. And the oracle for this one is, are you avoiding stillness? Do you need some stillness? Or well, somebody's still. What might you learn in the stillness and how does tranquility feel in your body? So, as usual, I will put this in my blog post so you can download it and print it for yourself to use later on. Right, I'm going to get on and do my Zen Garden at journal page. So I'm starting off with a piece of 300 GSM or 140 pound cold pressed watercolour cardstock and I've dusted off my old compass and I'm going to create two sets of concentric circles starting from an inch and a half going outwards and an inch in the bottom left hand corner starting, well starting from an inch and then going outwards from there until they join. And as this hat journal page contains a lot of repetitive actions, then I will show you the beginnings of most of them and then I will jump to the end. So I have my circles roughly drawn out and where the two sets of concentric circles are joining I'm just going to erase the pencil marks from that and then any other place that I may just want to remove bits and pieces. So it's now time to get out the watercolours, well in this case it's the neo colours and I'm going to start off with yellow ochre and I'm going to just draw around all of the concentric circles that I've already done with the yellow ochre neo colour. And again, because this is a little bit repetitive, I will just show you the first few and then jump to where I've completed the circles. Now it's time to activate with water. So just taking a small detail brush, I will switch brushes backwards and forwards from different sizes um, until I've actually got the feel and the flow of how the neo colours are working. And then I'm just going to gradually activate each of the circles and fill in and go all the way around each one of the two circles. So again, this is a quite a long and repetitive process. So I'll show you the first few and then I'll jump to the point where I've finished and completed them. So 
So as you can see, I've completed all of the circles and I've also filled in the background area and where I need just a little bit of extra colour, I'm just activating some of that new colour on my craft mat with some water. So I just want to make sure that there is a, bake, a basis or a base colour all across the card. So I'm just blending wherever I think it needs it and then I'm going to um, give it a quick heat gun, a heat quick blast to make sure it's all nice and dry before moving on. Next up I want to introduce a few more shades of colour in there. So I'm introducing a little bit of yellow and that's exactly the same neo colour again. So just activating with water just to add a few more shades, a little bit more depth and a little bit more texture into the shapes of the circles in the sand. And again, I'm just going to bring in my heat gun just to give it a gentle warming, make sure it's all nice and dry before moving on to the next colour. And the next colour is a little bit darker this time. This is Russet, which is a kind of orangey brown. And again, I'm going to go around some of the areas on the circle, not wholly this time. I just want to create some kind of shadows and highlights with the yellow that I've done, and then some low lights and some shadows with the darker orangey brown. And again, I'm just going to activate those with water, just using a small detail brush. I'm now going to pop the page to one side while I work on my stones, or my rocks for my Zen garden. So this are, or these are two circles that I've punched out of some grunge board. And as you can see, I'm just laying down some of the neo colour onto those. I'm just going to activate it with water and then do two or three different coats uh, and then heat it with the heat gun to make sure it's all dry. So once they were dry, I didn't think the colour popped enough because um, it, it soaked into the grunge board. So I decided to go over the two circles using some distress markers. So I've taken out the walnut stain, so I'm going to add some of that colour onto my stones. And just to add a little bit of contrast, I'm also going to add a lighter colour of brushed corduroy to them also. And just to add a little bit of warmth into the mix, I also decided I'm just going to add a tiny amount of mustard seed in there too. Now I haven't activated these with water because I want to seal them. So I'm going to use some matte collage page from Aileen's. I'm just going to add a small amount onto each of my two little discs. And then with a brush, I'm just going to brush it over. That will activate the pigments within the distress markers and blend them for me. Uh, and then obviously once that's dry, it will also be sealed. And obviously to dry it, I'm just going to bring in my heat gun and just give it a nice gentle waft over the top until it's done. Pop those just to one side and then back to the page where I've brought out my journaling block from Dilusions, Dine Reevely, and I've got the um, yellow ochre neo colour crayon again. Now I'm just going to sharpen it because it has got a little bit blunt so you'll just see me take a few shavings off with the scalpel in a second because it won't fit into a standard um, pencil sharpener and then I'm going to use the journaling block and the neo colour to draw some wavy lines that intersect my circles. And again, because this is a kind of repetitive process, I'll show you the first few and then I'll jump to where I've completed the page. So 
So again, I'm going to activate these wavy lines with water, just using a, a, a small paintbrush. Now, I'm not using a large one, just a smallish one, just so that I can control where the paint goes. And again, this is going to be a repetitive process. I am going to switch between two different sizes or two or three different sizes of paintbrush, depending on how the paint or the near colors are reacting to the water and how much coverage I'm getting. So it's really a control thing. I keep switching between them just so that I get comfortable with how I can best manage the colour that's going down there. So as you see, I've just jumped to where I've almost completed that section because it would have taken a long time to show you everything, which is why I've just done that little bit of a jump cut. So I'm just going to go around the page, just making sure that I've activated all of those lines where I need them. And then I'm just going to give it a gentle warming, a blast with the heat gun to make sure it's all nice and dry before moving on. Now we're all dry, it's time to stick down my rocks or my stones into my Zen garden. So for that, I'm just going to use um, bog standard PVA craft glue. I'm going to leave them to dry and pop the page to one side while I work on my quote for the page, which I've printed off on my computer. Uh, I've just used a standard inkjet printer. Uh, I'm not going to be covering anything or put, adding any colour over the top of this, so I'm not sealing it with chapstick or anything like that or a sealer. So I do want to add um, some colour around the edges, however, so for that I'm going to use the Saffron Archival Ink and an ink blending foam and I'm just going to go around the edge with the saffron ink which kind of mirrors the yellow ochre that I've already used in the page and then when I've got that colour down I'm then just going to finish off and edge my little um, quote block with the potting soil archival ink too. I know some of you will want to know what the quote says, so for that I will hold it up for a second so you've got time to press pause and have a read. So I'm now just going to glue that down onto my page again using the Craft PVA glue. drying just it, making sure that I've got it into the right position and it is straight I'm going to bring out my white rollerball pen my signal white opaque rollerball pen and I'm just going to add some little highlight details to my rocks so I also decided that I want to add a kind of border around the page so I'm going to bring out either I can't remember which one I used now, whether it was the vintage photo, the brush corduroy, um, one of the two colours, I think it was the brush corduroy. I'm sure it is, I couldn't quite catch it, oh it was the walnut stain, there you go. I'm going to add a doodle border all the way around the page. I also added some doodle details around my quote block as well. So all that remains for me to do now is to sign and date the page and then I'm calling this page done. So I hope you enjoyed watching my Zen Garden Art Journal page come to life. So this is my take on week 8 of the Journal 52 weekly prompts and obviously the prompt for this week was stillness. And I hope my Zen Garden does capture that essence of stillness.
If you have enjoyed watching it, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video with all your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. I just want to take a quick moment just to say a huge thank you to all of my angels. Without you, this video would not have been possible. Thank you. That's all from me for now. I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.